Hey everybody, it's Max Imagination here. In this week's video, I'll be showing you how to make a handheld PVC gyroscopic camera stabilizer. Now, if you want to know how to make this thing, let's jump right into the video. Okay, so here's all the materials you're going to need in order to make this camera stabilizer. You will need two of these PVC pipes, four of these elbow pipes, as you can see here, elbow connectors, a T connector, then we have four of these PVC end caps, and then we have these two pieces of PVC, and then this one over here is for the handle, and then we have a bolt here, and two hex nuts that will be going on for the part that we'll be putting our camera onto, three bearings, 6,000 bearings, and then we have three hex nuts here and three bolts. And at last, you will need a two-based epoxy. I have the two-based black epoxy. You can use any other kind of strong epoxy. So let me show you, before you're going to start putting anything together, I'll just tell you that, as you can see, I've taken this PVC pipe. This is for the bottom part. And I've actually squeezed it together by heating it up with a lighter. And I just squeezed it in like that using pieces of metal. And I've drilled a hole here, which the screw is going to go into. And then this hex nut will be screwed on, just like that. So once it's very tight, you can even use a pair of pliers to tighten it. Make sure this is the tightest screw, um, bolt, or I mean nut. And then you have this nut right here, the flat part. Make sure it's facing up. This will go right up into your camera. And your camera is going to be screwed on to this thread. And if it stops at some point, you can just screw this up a little bit and it'll basically tighten it in the right position. And you may be asking, why didn't I put it in the middle? It's because my camera's little screw thingy, the port, is not sitting in the middle. So if my lens are actually in the middle, so the, the lens are going to be in the middle, and my little screw port is right off to the side. And if you're asking why there's black already on them, it's because I already painted them and I already made the stabilizer before. So now we're going to connect these pipes, these uh, elbows, right here. So this is in line with that, and another one like that. If you don't have a rubber mallet, just bang it against your floor, maybe not the table, or if you do have a rubber mallet, just bang it. Next, you're going to attach these two pipes right here. There we go. You can also glue all these joints if you want. But I'm not going to because I may need these pipes for another project. Next, you're going to attach these two elbows onto these two ends. Then you're going to take both of these six and a half centimeter in length pieces of half inch PVC and uh, you're going to attach them right here. Now I'm going to go outside and drill two holes in these two end caps. Five hours later. Okay, I'm back. Now I've drilled the holes. So now I'm going to put this bolt through the bearing, as you can see, and then put it through this thing right here, the end cap, and then I'm going to take one of these uh, nuts and screw it on right in there. There we go, now we're done with these two. So now let's attach these things to our PVC. There you go, that should be about good. And the next step is we're going to put the T right here. Just drilled a hole in one of these end caps these are the last two that we have. Now we're going to attach the bearing and do this thing again. Then you're going to attach it to your handle piece and then put your other end cap on without a hole. And now you're going to glue your handle to the T, the bottom part of the T. Put a bit of super glue on the cover as long as you have the cover on. You may want to hold it there for about two minutes. So now I've got the two based epoxy, as you can see here, one and two. 
and I already placed it on a piece of foam. You just use a piece of cardboard. And now we're going to go over the spots here with the toothpick and right where the bearing meets up with the PVC where we glued on earlier, we're just going to ensure that it's all solid. So now let's go paint this thing black with a can of spray paint. So as you can see, with masking tape, I now covered up all the parts that I do not want spray paint, or else they may not work. There we go. Now I finished painting it. Now I just gotta let it dry for a bit. So this is how you're supposed to screw the camera on and make sure it is on tight. And if it stops at some point, then make sure you just turn it back a little to the straight position and screw the nut on up to the camera. In order to get the most stable and steady shots, you gotta walk at a steady pace and also be very careful how you move it around, move it around very slowly and steadily. Now this camera stabilizer, it is very useful for action scenes or when somebody is running, you can film them from the side or from behind and it just makes things a lot more stable. Or it may even be useful for like up and down shots where you go from low to high. Alright guys, that is all for this week's video showing you how to make a PVC handheld gyroscopic camera stabilizer. I really like it a lot myself. I really like the aspect that how I made it so it could have bearings, so it could spin around and swivel around all different types of directions. If you enjoyed this video, be sure, like always, to hit the like button, comment down below, subscribe to my YouTube channel if you haven't yet, and share this video with your friends. Thanks for watching, guys. See you next week. Peace.